We are here at Farm Burger in Birmingham, Alabama. Yeah, man, they wonder who could climb the furthest. That bridge is getting narrow. Wonder if I deserve it. The sun's feeling nearer. Mine's growing older. I'm showing up, but still that time's not going slower. Yeah, uh, right here. Few out. Probably seats about 20 people outside, I guess. Probably about 20, and another 50 or so inside. Uh, have some TVs in there, right? Pretty sure they have the games on itself when it comes on. Uh, yeah, outdoor seating space. Love outdoor seating. Uh, music in the background, and they have uh, some ingredients like vegetables of the day, whatever, from local farms or whatever. So, Farm Burger, one of their big things is uh, grass-fed beef and all that stuff fresh ingredients local ingredients from different farms organic stuff uh, they have seasonal uh, milkshakes uh, I got the trace leg taste that's their seasonal and they have the vanilla and chocolate regular uh, I also got marinade marinade zephyr zephyr squash on the side right there so yeah looking forward to this burger Mess up your shot. Oh, yeah, go, 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 go. That's your squash. Yes, sir. Thank you. We're sitting here having lunch at Farm Burger. Uh, we're brand new to the town, been up here about three days. Uh, we do farm to table burgers and fries. Local farms are what we love to source our store with. Uh, so, you come in here, you're going to get uh, grass fed and finished beef with uh, local toppings at a fair price. Uh, keep you healthy and happy. And you get to hang out with a lot of cool people. What else do you want? Yes, sir. Thank you. Yeah, man. Tell me your name. Lorenzo. Nice to meet yes, you. Yes, sir. Lorenzo. Make sure you give me that link for you. Yes, sir. Honey mustard. The honey mustard will be the make or break deal of this restaurant. It's not good honey mustard. You know, I did a honey mustard recipe a couple weeks ago. It's not good. No bueno. All right. Fries are really pretty different right here. Um, got people walking on the street looking at my fries, so it catches the eye. Uh, these are the actual farm burger fries, the house fries. For them being a bit more crispy, but it'll do the job. Better than fries than most places. On to the squash now. Uh, the fries, they weren't the freshest fries, but I like a said, it's still good stuff. All right, so we have the, what do you call fries? The marinated zephyr squash, it costs a dollar. And this is what you get. I'm not sure what I can compare this taste to. Kind of sweet, kind of tangy. Um, Good healthy vegetable. You can just eat it by itself. I mean, by myself. Um, good stuff. She said your fries were on point, so I made you some new ones. <laughs> Word travels fast. Uh, <laughs> I, don't, I don't need all those fries. Uh, you know, you can take some home and nibble on maybe later. All right, thank you. Yeah, man. No problem. I got you, boss. Thank you. Alright. <laughs> so, uh, apparently, they gave me some fresh fries. Some more fresh fries. They didn't ask for them. So, now, these fries. Superb. Fresh, natural cut fries. Doesn't get any better than that. Yes, sir. Very attentive um, staff members here, team members here. Um, most places try to be like extra friendly because I have a camera out and they probably ask what I'm doing. I think this is like genuine respect as just good workers. It is obviously new, so maybe have more managers something right than usual, but. Very good customer service. Customer service is always the top key to top success. The burger. This burger. Smoked Gouda. Put, uh, beef well, cooked well done. Uh, spicy, the spicy or something, their house mayonnaise. Pickles, lettuce, tomato. 
Alright, so just fin finishing up the burger. And this this uh the purple was the owl's pal form bacon braised cabbage. A dollar. Good stuff. I have like a um, southern home cooking type feel to it. But that's the sauce. Honey mustard. Good. Alright, so then we had the um, burger itself. Itself it was fantastic. Uh, it was, you can always tell like the burger taste. Like the real taste, the grill marks, the uh, this overall grill experience, like a backyard burger, like you bake uh, grill back on like Fourth of July or something. It's a great burger like that. It wasn't a fast food burger. You can always tell the difference between fast food burger and a real grilled burger. That's great, uh, cooked to the perfect temperature, the perfect uh, if you get medium well, well done, or rare. Uh, I'm not sure if they serve her, but yeah, I go with medium. I go with well done. Uh, I don't like taking risks on my beef. Uh, so got that good cheese, spicy mayo or pepper mayo or something like that. Very good. Um, and lettuce, tomatoes, and what was that? Pickles. I think I had some radish on there. I'm not sure. So yeah. Very nice burger, uh, very great customer service. Um, so shout out to Chance, the lady that's right here. I'm not sure what her name was. I gotta come up with a, some type of rating, some type of rating, um, like a. Uh, I'm not sure if I come up with one of them on the screen. Yeah. So as always, and bring, we're bringing about the March Food Tour back again, season two. As always, keep marching, baby.